So in this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to arrange our faux artichoke arrangement in the premium size. And today I'm gonna to be arranging this in our Orford vase, which is a great little vase um, for kind of like your sideboard um, tables in your hallway or something, um, bedside table or even your kitchen. So yeah, it's really versatile, I really love it. Um, it's an eight centimeter opening at the neck and it's about uh, 20 centimeters high. And I'm gonna be starting out by using some of um, the fern stem. And with this, you just want to bend all these lovely fronds and make it feel as natural as possible. Just give that stem a little bit of a wiggle and you can bring some of these stems forward and backwards a little bit. And then I'm gonna be lowering this down. So I want this stem to start at the vase there. So that gives you a bit of an indication on um, how low you want to bend it to. So about that. Um, and if you have any, I've gone a bit too low actually. That's better, perfect. So I'm just gonna leave that to kind of one side and it will move around whilst we get our other stems in, but don't worry about that. Uh, next, I'm going in with our lovely wild grass, um, which is a really generous stem and adds tons of height and movement to the arrangement, which I really love. Um, but it is quite tall. So I'm gonna be bending this down quite a lot because I don't want this to be much taller than the fern. I really want um, it to be relatively neat. So just popping that down. I don't know if you can see the actual stem, the other end of the stem is poking out um, in, into the arrangement, which you obviously doesn't look so nice. So you can just give that another bend, really kind of hairpin bend so that you've created two there, which hopefully you can see. And then you can pop that in safe in the knowledge that it's um, well hidden, like so. And then I'm gonna be adding in our natural eucalyptus stems just for some really lovely um, bulk and that lush green color. So I'm gonna be bending this down ever so slightly to about there and working it kind of in between the grass stem. And then same for the other one, I'm gonna have it slightly lower, I think, and a bit more forward, like so. So just instantly, it's become much more of a, an arrangement, if you like. Um, and then next, I'm gonna be adding in the artichokes. And because we've got two of these, whenever I'm using something that's quite um, solid, like these are, I just wanna be quite considered about where they sit in the arrangement to make sure that it feels really natural and that we're not making any kind of symmetrical lines. So I'm gonna have one slightly lower and I'm kind of bending the head down a little bit so you can really get the most of that lovely artichoke, like so. And then the other one I'm gonna have over here and I'm gonna have it facing this way uh, reason being so that when you can walk around and admire your um, arrangement, you can really kind of see it from all angles. So just like that. So they're sitting, they're kind of facing away from each other, but they still feel very natural. And then just to add some lovely kind of detail and texture, and it's a really beautiful filler, is just from our seeded eucalyptus here with lovely rounded leaves. And I'm gonna bend this first one down and kind of pop it in between those artichokes. And then this last one, I'm gonna have more at the back there. So I'm gonna bend it a touch, just to about there. And work that in about there. And then as always, you just want to stand back from your arrangement and make sure that you're completely happy with how it's all looking and make any final little tweaks or adjustments. Um, but yeah, that all looks absolutely fine. It's just a really nice all round arrangement, all year round arrangement that just, I really like it in the kitchen with the artichokes. But anyway, I really hope you thoroughly enjoy creating it and thank you so much for watching.